All right, guys, so we have three tips to get the spark back in your relationship. <laughs> Hi, y'all. We have found that generally people in relationships fall into two categories. Either they argue and they bicker, they just snip at each other, or they're just cold and sterile and silent. Ooh. But either way... No sex. No sex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's a problem. There's just no intimacy. There's no spark. A connection, yeah. Right. Well, hi, y'all. My name is Jess. And my name is Reed. <laughs> And I want to make sure that y'all stick around to the end because you know what? We have three secrets tonight, three tips, but... The third one is the hottest. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so with the two categories of people, of relationships, where they're either angry and bitter or they're cold and silent, generally they have the same root problem. And it's really simple. It's unresolved expectations. Mm. And then unresolved expectations generally fall into two categories. There's the internal and then there's the external. So sometimes I place expectations on myself mm -hmm. and I may not even know they're there, but I'm holding myself to these standards that um, just I, I'm not even aware of. And then when I fail to meet my own standards, like, here's an example, yelling at my kids. I don't want to yell at my kids. When I yell at my kids, I feel bad. And mm -hmm. so when you continue to do those cycles over and over, you're failing yourself. You're, you're having these unresolved expectations that just hurt you. Mm -hmm. Now, so many times we can have expectations of our partner, right. but then they don't even know. <laughs> and that's where it gets really hard. Yes. A good example is I spent years upset with Reed, but he wasn't like taking responsibility for our finances and like wanting to do these things. And like, why wasn't he like owning the bills and understanding all of it? But then I was managing the entire budget. So how could I expect him to do something that didn't even Come like that I didn't give you permission you to do. Me. Right. You're I me. didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. and not only did I not tell you, and then I wouldn't give you permission to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and so the, uh, the moral of all of that yeah. is that you really need to understand when you have expectations of yourself right. and of your partner, and then your partner should probably know. Yeah. So here with tip number one, it's really, does your partner even know the expectations for you that you have for them? That, Do they even know? That reminds me of us and early on, way early on in our relationship. That was a long time ago. <laughs> 16 years. <laughs> right, right. I just didn't feel like that long. Um, there was this time where I was like, I didn't know how to express myself. Like a whole period of, well, a, most of my life. And then I meet this person who likes to express herself and I'm like, I, I expected her to just like know what I'm thinking or notice things without me saying anything. It's like the right. guy that doesn't express himself, you know? Except that guy was you. And except that guy was me. Oh, right. And so and, I can't read your mind. Yeah. So the moral of all of this is I need you to stop right now. Yeah. The video will be here. It will be here when you come back. Press pause. Write down the expectations you have for yourself that is causing the bickering or the coldness. Yeah. What are the expectations that are not being met for both yourself so, and, and for, for your you. partner? Yeah. So, like, what what have you been thinking about them that you haven't been telling them, basically? Right. <laughs> right. Because it's those unresolved things that actually kill the spark. Right. Because it creates yeah. this bitterness that happens yeah. in your relationship. Yeah. And it's so hard to get any kind of passion when you have this thing in the back that's just like gnawing away at it. Right. So, stop. Right now. Write down your expectations. Hear the elevator music. We'll be right here. Okay. Okay, we're back. <laughs> now that you're back. <laughs> Tip number two is practice kindness. <laughs> now this one is crazy and... Kindness is crazy? Kindness is crazy. Okay. 
because it's hard. Okay. And it's hard in a long-term relationship. Ooh. You forget in everyday interactions how you sound, how you look, your body language, your tone. Mm. And we have a tendency, because we're all human, just to get lazy. We have it. My mom used to call it a backhanded compliment. When you would take things out on the people you love the most, and that's generally what wow. we do. And it's like a backhanded compliment. Wow. It's like, I love you so much, yeah. I'm going to treat you pooey. And no one wants to be treated pooey. Right. And so I had these moments when my kids were young, young, young. They're all older now. But when they were young, that I was like, I knew I needed to change, mm -hmm. but I didn't know how. And I really didn't even know what I was doing. So I started using my old, it was like a 3G iPhone. Like this was a long yeah. time ago. Uh, I'm not 3G. It was like the 3G. Like it was the- 2G? I don't know. No, it wasn't a G. It was <laughs> called a G? G. It was like <laughs> the iPhone 3. Right. <laughs> so right. I started recording myself like just all the time. And I was like, man, I am angry. Uh. My facial expressions are awful. No wonder my kids think I'm angry. No wonder my husband thinks I'm angry. Yeah. My tone is awful. So I never, ever, ever want to encourage anyone to film anyone without permission. Right. It, but there have been times where I've encouraged Reed. Right. Like, you need to film yourself because I don't like well, the way you're told talking me. to me. She's like, she's like, you don't hear yourself. And I'm like, I don't hear myself right. <laughs> so... Um, I started trying it and um, to be honest it was like like Jess's situation it was shocking um, it's terrifying and it was mostly because the most shocking thing to me was that it directly played into whatever pain I had about myself mm -hmm. like whether it was past or whatever it was pain is always in the past and it's because I go to film myself and I go oh I have to be good for the film and then I go oh shoot <laughs> I should be good for me and for everyone regardless. Right. You know, like regardless. <laughs> it, so it, it just filming yourself, never ever posting it anywhere, never taking it anywhere, but just for your own yeah. um, self-awareness. Right. So you can actually hear the way you sound and the tones of your voice, the expressions yeah. on your face. It is a powerful tool. So yeah. practice kindness but you might not even know how you're truly being if you don't just record yourself. Yeah. So that's the challenge with tip number two, is you really need to practice kindness for yourself and for others. Do it for oh, you. Do it for you. Do it for you because you're the one in control of, of your own decisions and that will be so powerful. You would not believe how much it's going to blow your mind when it comes to... Um, mm -hmm. When your self-awareness right well in yeah. your self-awareness mm -hmm. it the other thing is that so many times we have a tendency to minimize how people treat us Ooh. and so there's this there's a standard that i've learned as to where i i just have to say it raw it, uh, like real yeah so if i feel like reed's not treating me right then i start to say well, it's okay because it's just me. At least he's not doing it to the kids. You know, he's just treating me that way. That is such a toxic mindset. Because if I saw someone treating my children a certain way, right. would I get upset? <laughs> and if the answer is yes, then I shouldn't tolerate it for myself right. either. And so that was really powerful. When I started holding how people treat me, to the same standard that I would say how they treat my children. Mm. Oh, it yeah. got different. And wow. it changed our relationship because I started standing up to read in a way. Yeah. It, and it wasn't ever that he did anything really bad. But it was like, you can't talk to me in that tone. Right. <laughs> and so yeah. it changes the dynamics. When you change the dynamics, you feel the spark. And it's so much fun. Because <laughs> then you're finally free to have fun, enjoy each other, poke yeah. fun at each other, and really laugh. Yes. So, I think we've exhausted that one.
<laughs> but it's so important. So we've got number three. Number three. Oh. And this one, once you've mastered yeah. the first two and you're like, I've got this. I don't right. have any unresolved expectations. I'm practicing kindness. I'm treating myself and everyone around me with respect and kindness. Yeah. Then you get to number three, and this is where it's Practice so fun. non-sexual no. affection. Yes. It's hugs and touch and care. Non-sexual affection is so important. We could just call it affection, but we needed to say non-sexual because some people are like, spark in relationship. Check your wow, wow, wow. Right. It's like, hold up. Wait, Way and back that's over good. here. Let's but, start with affection. You know what? Yeah. Here's what it comes down to. When, for me, when affection is only sexual, I feel used. Hmm. How's that? Make, like, think about this. Hold on. I need to say it again. Okay, I, when affection is only sexual, I have a tendency to feel used. That is a very common feeling for people. And then we can't you? connect. Why wouldn't you? Right. So it's so important to touch, to hug. and I've, I've felt that time many right. times. Right. And, and I'm a man. man what, right. Like, do we just not talk about this as men? Wait, you're human, like, though. Nobody, no men talk... No men. No man talks to me like that. <laughs> We're not we supposed to admit so those things. We so need yeah, physical yeah. affection that isn't yeah. sexual, that is just mm. a hug. Now, yeah. here's the thing. We we took this part it, it and really expanded it. Mm. And it was with, like, a, th a hug. Yeah. A hug. You need <laughs> solid, like, 30 second, one minute, yeah. two minute just real deep connection hugs because it's those hugs. Yeah. They, oh, you just it's, want to hug, huh? Right. <laughs> it's the hugs that change everything. Well, and when you hold on and rest. And it's science. Oh. I mean, they say like 20 seconds and then right. something magical happens in 30 seconds. And I think at like 35, <laughs> you go into another dimension. I don't know. It sometimes feels like that. I, honestly, it, it really makes a it's huge comfort. difference. It's comfort. Yeah. It's rest. <laughs> and then... It, it, when you start to combine these things, it the spark is easy. Yeah. It's so simple, like, to really feel that passion. Yeah. When your expectations are being resolved and you're really hitting that on the head. Yeah. When you're thinking about how you're treating yourself and others. And then you really just touch each other. Because yeah. you know what? We, we all get skin hungry. Where we just need physical skin. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to touch somebody. It's part of being human. Right. Like babies, babies don't make it very long in the hospital. They, like don't, are, they don't make it unless they get touched. And there was actually a study in, oh, it was like the 40s or 60s about babies where they did not touch them and almost all of them died. They were like in an orphanage. It was a horrifying study. Yeah. But they withheld human contact. We as humans need physical contact that is skin to skin yeah. that is not sexual because once you have that in an intimate relationship it makes everything like off the chain it's so much better then everything it's, fall makes sense yeah. it falls into place literally so yeah. that's how you get the spark those are the three easiest tips they don't sound easy they sound fun they sound fun, right? They sound fun. Like Only they're they're into three tips. I like how I like how you did that, Jess. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we hope y'all. But there's a next level. Oh, there's another level. Next level. Oh, I forgot about the next level. <laughs> Take it to Nike the next level. Time. <laughs> what did she just say? Nike time. Nike time. That's, Nike time. That almost sounds like too cute, or maybe it no. should be cute. Oh. Let's roll. Okay, with so this. this is the next level okay. of number three. Yeah. It's get naked. Next level, naked time. <laughs> naked time. You got to yeah. get naked. Get comfortable being around each other. Yeah. Like, be comfortable naked because yeah. it, it will start to take things to the next level. You're comfortable with yourself. Yeah. I am 40 years old and I have five kids. Woo! <laughs> I have stretch marks from here, like, all the way all the way down here. Uh, it, they're, they're advanced they're beauty marks. That's what you call them. <laughs> you can call them. I'm proud of them. I'm not ashamed of them. They just are what they are. We yeah. have to be comfortable, like, together. Yeah. And the more comfortable I am naked, yeah. the better it is all the way through. And so, like, we get dressed 
we get dressed naked. <laughs> we get Guess dressed what? I'm naked way. under my clothes. <laughs> yeah. well, some of you may dr never no. be naked and just wear clothes always. No, we, we, we have a lot of time in the bathroom, both or in the yeah. morning and at night, where we're just comfortable and naked. Right. And it's not sexual. We're just well. When we realize it works so well to just like learn how to be comfortable with each other, but honestly, right. it didn't start out that way. Like I was like at the beginning of her relationship, I was like thinking that she was gonna be like sleeping in Jamie's, and and I wouldn't know how to feel like comfortable just being naked around her. And that sounds weird for a lot of you, but I was a virgin. <laughs> And I was not. Right? And, and she was not. She was very experienced and was very comfortable, right? <laughs> She's yes. experienced. Truthfully. All the experiences. Right? And uh, so you were comfortable with. Right. Being I was comfortable naked. with my body. I was comfortable yeah. being naked, but he was not. I was not. And but you encouraged me, and so I tried it, and it worked. I, I pranced around naked, and yeah. it helped. Yeah. yeah. And boy, that sure makes a lot yeah. of spark. So that's, I guess, yeah. tip number four, or bonus. That's, that's next your bonus. level. Yep. yep. Make um, sure <laughs> you, you like, like and comment, comment subscribe, and, and smack, smack that, that bell. bell. <laughs> that bell. And don't forget to share. And share it. Yeah, and y'all, we'd love to hear from you. Don't forget, like, comment below. We want to yeah. hear how these things help you. We love y'all. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> See you next time. Oh, hold on. And if you would really like to know the one thing that totally transformed our life, our marriage, our lifestyle, our business, everything, go to the link in the description. I'm telling you, it's an amazing tool. It saved our everything. 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 It saved our go everything. Go check it out. Go to the link. Bye. Bye.